stunning people, and welcome to this week's episode of the Salt Lake Sessions. Today's group is proof that good things do come in threes. You're in for a treat. This is Tiny Habits. Oh, oh, oh it's magic. You know, never believe it's not so. It's magic. You know. Never believe it's not so. Never been away, never seen a day break. Laying on my pillow in the morning. Lazy day in bed, music in my head. Crazy music playing in the morning. Light. You know, never believe it's not so. It's magic. You know, never believe it's not so. On a sunny day, dream of our blue, dreaming on my pillow in the morning. Hey, Tiny Habits. Hello. Hello. What is up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it is it's much so appreciated. Yeah. We're so excited. Let me hear your names individually. I'm Sinya. I'm Judah. I'm Maya. And I'm Bean. That's our show Bean. today. Bean. Um, <laughs> no, it's great because you're all artists in your own right. Yeah. And you all do your own individual thing, we which do. is amazing. I was fans of the three of you and then saw what? a video of you together. I was like, Yay. oh, okay. Thank That's you. Okay. <laughs> all right, cool. But I'd love to know about the formation of Tiny Habits and how it started. Who? Totally. Yeah, give me the rundown. Give me the story. See you. Dude and I started school over COVID, um, which, you know, was kind of kind of sucked a little bit, but also was a blessing in disguise because we all met through Instagram. Mm -hmm. And so I followed these two and they were obviously the incredible artists that they are. And I was like, so taken aback by their incredible artistry. And so once we got to school, um, we met up and we sang together and the rest is kind of history. We've just been singing ever since in little stairwells yeah. here and there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, the stairwell acoustics, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what did you guys think with this? fangirl like hey i want to see <laughs> okay the story is was... actually funnier than it is funnier <laughs> i posted I gave you the I po story. We, lived, we all live in the same building and mm -hmm. i posted a picture of the toilet paper holder because i was so confused like it was something i've never confusing. seen before yeah. i posted a picture and like please does anyone know how to use this yeah and maya swiped up she's like i have no clue like i'm also so confused <laughs> yeah. and that was like our first that interaction was, yeah and then she was like, also, quarantine's about to be over, like, let's That's hang saying. out. <laughs> yeah. That's no, literally, all, we went to Maya's room, right down. And me and Judah yeah. lived across the hall from yeah. each other. But we didn't even realize didn't that even until that. after. Until we, we walked together. home from the first yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Oh, it was kind of cute. It was, a, it was a cute little... Yeah, I was cute. terrified. I was also terrified. Because I've never, like, I don't know, I hadn't socialized in a while because yeah. we were in quarantine. And so my social skills were at an all-time low. Mm. I was so scared. I didn't saying. No, I didn't notice either. So then talk to me about... Everything that happened before, before the Tiny Habits moment, before mm -hmm. Maya started following you all. Where yeah. are you from individually? Okay, there we go. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm from New Jersey. I moved to Florida when I was like 14, so now my family's there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. So I, would you say you're from New Jersey or Florida? I say like... I claim New Jersey every okay. time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, time. not Florida girl. Yeah, not, all right. not Fair. All. But yeah, I started songwriting when we moved to Florida, and so that was like the the catalyst, the traumatic mm -hmm. event that started it all. But yeah. And then I went to school for music and mm -hmm. 
yeah, I've been writing a lot and singing forever. Yeah, so. I'm from Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was definitely something. Um, I started songwriting when I was, like, I think my senior year of high school, mm -hmm. actually. I, like, kind of wrote here and there, but I was, I was, like, really passionate about it, like, my senior year. And then I was, like, I don't want to play sports anymore because I played basketball, like, my whole Life. You're just six mm. seven, by the way. I am six mm -hmm. seven. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell. Six but seven. He's still <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, my senior year, I was finally like, okay, I definitely want to go to music school. I definitely want to pursue music as a career. And I was like, I'm gonna do that. I I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, so international. Yeah, coming yeah, <laughs> to the U.S. was a scary experience for sure. But um, what what's my musical background? I mean, I've been singing since I was like nine, playing in like little venues and stuff back home and then I actually kind of got into like jazz like that was kind of my thing for a really long time so mm -hmm. I was kind of like working around the jazz scene in Vancouver for a bit then I got into songwriting too and I came here and now I'm, we're writing together and yeah. making lots of music like when I hear the three of you sing together it feels like you found a home no, I think so. within the three of you Absolutely. you know mm -hmm. and there's like a comfort there and a synergy that yeah, is so palpable yeah, yeah. for mm -hmm. some, somebody that listens to it yeah. oh it's just so special right yeah. um and it makes all of us feel like oh my gosh i really don't have any true friends because oh, you know, no. this is what friendship is right here like this is what it is um what did y'all listen to when you were baby teeny tiny habits everything. um literally everything mm -hmm. i think well i grew up in church <laughs> Mm, classic. Grew up in church, <laughs> like really involved in church. Mm -hmm. um, so I listened to a lot of gospel music mm -hmm. as a kid. Um, we watched a lot of Disney Channel, so a lot of like soundtracks, mm -hmm. High School Musical. Mm -hmm. I you got are to move you on are and be who I am. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I think that was mainly it. We did mm -hmm. listen to a lot of pop music too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think for me. I grew up in a house where, like, a lot of Joni Mitchell was played, a lot of, like, Carole King, the Beatles, like, a lot of that. My parents were, like, huge music nerds, mm -hmm. so it was a lot of that, like, really great old school stuff, but still my favorite. Mm -hmm. yeah. I grew up listening Dang. to, like, tons of folk, like Joni, mm. and, but also, like, reggae mm. and, like, salsa, because mm. my parents are, my dad's from Guyana, my mom's from Puerto Rico, so mm. super cultured, mm. but also, like, rock music and, like, yeah, just everything, literally yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So now that I've heard about like the backstory and mm -hmm. the formulation and everything, I want to talk about where we're going. Yeah. As where we're going, we're taking me on tour, <laughs> tour of Tiny Habits. I can't wait. No, where we're right. going. All right, four yes, going. all four of us. Yeah, we'll hop on the bus right now. That's going to be great. No, but I want to talk about where you guys see Tiny Habits going. I want to hear the plan. Yeah. I want to hear the one-year plan, the five-year plan. Like, what's up? Tell me what the vibes are. I think right now we're doing all the social media stuff. We're mm -hmm. writing a lot, recording Planning on releasing fairly soon, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Singles nice. and maybe like a little project or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. That's we're. I think we're good at being here right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. But also like, we wanna we wanna travel. We're, we wanna we're ready. Mm -hmm. We wanna play. Mm -hmm. We wanna mm -hmm. play. We wanna release and yeah. Play. Let's talk about social media. That's <laughs> kind of the foundation where you guys got your start, right? Yeah. 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 Would you say? It was still so. COVID. -y? Yeah, I mean we yeah. were like, posting like on our individual like Instagram accounts yeah. and stuff like randomly we would just like film a video in the stairwell and just like post mm -hmm. and people loved it but like we it we didn't really think thing. it was just like yeah. us no collabing. we were just like oh mm -hmm. like singing with some friends like didn't think much of it yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and people were kind of joking all the time being like when are you, you gonna like start official, the band yeah. whatever and we're just like ha 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 like that's so funny mm -hmm. and then we were like wait right and now like a full year later pretty much like yeah. just this past January we were finally like wait yeah. like we should actually do this because we only we only really sung together like certain like like maybe like once every month yeah really we all, and then we, that like semester summer, we made like three videos yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the summer we came back and we were like okay one video and then that video was like yeah. well you guys should be a man yeah, yeah. So let's talk about your songwriting yeah. and the process behind that yeah. when you sit down do you say we're gonna have a songwriting session today or is it all organic <laughs> it's very organic it's sometimes right. we like bring ideas, ideas to each yeah. other because mm -hmm. we have a group chat mm -hmm. so we do maybe tiny, tiny hippies tiny hippies <laughs> and you know, maybe Sinya or Maya will like record something yeah. Little boys, my mom. we'll listen to it yeah. and we'll be like yeah we like this and then we'll work on it or yeah. like the like the individual person will work on it and mm -hmm. we'll come together and mm -hmm. you know sing it together and just kind of comes to life mm -hmm. interesting organically. can i hear one of your originals today sure. you yes. most definitely can yay what, what are you going to show me it's our song called pennies, pennies. Yes. it's going to be our first single first single I'm acting like I don't know it, but I'm fully obsessed with that song. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't wait to you. hear it. Thanks Yay. for being here, y'all. Thank, Thank you for having us. Yeah. This is so Thank fun. You. I'm just
just a sweater hung in your closet. Forget about me till you get cold. A candy wrapper lost in your pocket. Something forgotten and it's getting old. Why is it on your terms? It hurts me, making me think I'm worth less than pennies. Stunning people, it's Bean. Make sure to check out the Salt Lake Sessions YouTube channel and subscribe.